this supercharged? I swear. These trucks get quieter and quieter the newer they get. Like, yeah. what am I hearing? Right now? The motor makes more noise than the actual exhaust. Sounds like my Sentra. I think your Sentra is louder than this. To be Probably. Honest. Howdy. Uh, yeah, we bought a new truck. Uh, there's actually a long and super complex story that I'm not gonna get into. Taking delivery of this truck. It wasn't like a normal delivery day. We didn't just get to show up, pick up the truck, be in awe. Yeah, I got arrested when I was on the way to pick up this truck. So that was fun. The guy that we bought this off of was nice enough to come to the jail and hand deliver the truck to Brian while he waited for me to be unincarcerated. Totally didn't ruin the uh, taking delivery. I, I was still super excited to come home my first day out, pull into the driveway and see this beautiful black 5G. I love this thing already. It is awesome. Maybe we should name it something to do with Jailbird or j j Jailbird. It's black, so I was like Mike Tyson or something, something cool. Comment down below. What do you think we should name this thing? Anyway, so 2022 Ram 3500 Mega Cab Dually. It's got a 6.7. The thing that sold it to me was all the color match, beautiful chrome accents. It's got a nice 2023 style cow hood, which these are sick it adds horsepower or something i don't know it runs cooler not actually sure if there's a motor underneath this hood so i don't know what is cooling down this might be a tesla obviously it's a uh, tastefully modded other than the color match it's got a six, inch, a six inch or an eight inch bds it's, it's pretty tall it's a six inch bds satin purple powder coat pretty cool i've not seen a truck with that 26 inch american bleh, forces they they spin they spin they're black and milled i'm i'm not too mad about the wheel and tire stuff to be honest i don't hate them wrapped in some 37 inch amp tires it rides good i don't know what's quieter the tires or the truck feels like you're driving a tesla or a cadillac or something that's not a big lifted truck it's really nice and it definitely does not feel like a big lifted truck on the inside this was the selling point of the whole truck <laughs> that interior is fucking insane limited, limited longhorn long edition interior so it's got well tan and brown leather seats my fifth gen back in the day iggy the one that we g56 swapped and i could have bought a lamborghini with how much money i had into it that was a limited longhorn as well but it had the black and brown seats not the brown and tan i actually didn't know it had this interior whenever i bought it i kind of just i mean i didn't really get to see it whenever i paid for it but i didn't i thought it was the same interior as eggy so i was really surprised whenever i got home and was able to look inside of like that is insane look at that so much detail it's got like a bunch of engraving and like the seats like that the, the stitching or whatnot it's got these little freaking belt buckles i wish they were louis vuitton belt buckles but i'll settle for those a bunch of gold accents the wood's like a really really nice color and it's got like this freaking alligator skin leather everywhere it's f***ing cool. It is a cool ass interior. Dodge, you, you kill it every single time. You blow me away. I don't know what I like more. This interior or the Limited's interior. Like Frosty, the giveaway truck that we're giving away right now. That you can get out here to win. Time is running out for your chance to take home the keys to Frosty. It's my 2018 Ford F-250 Limited. It's in pretty on a 14 inch elevate lift with coilovers in the front. 28 by 16 Liberty Forge wheels for up 38 1650 Fury tires. Got a brand new 2020 front end. Big ass cowl hood, color match headlights and taillights. Inside has got a fully loaded limited leather interior with massage seat, iPad dash, 600 piece starlight headliner kit, thanks to FCK light bars, and a big sub box underneath the rear seat. Custom piping out of the engine bay, rock lights, train horns, and so much more. Not only do you get the title and the keys to the truck, you also get $10,000 in cash to do whatever you want with. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And take advantage of our times three entry multiplier for a limited time. That means $25 normally order to get you 10 entries, you're gonna be getting 30. So take advantage of that sale and get entered today. And who knows, on April 20th, I might be giving you a call, turning you come pick up your new truck. Good luck to everybody, enjoy the rest the video. Whenever Brian took delivery of this truck, it had 600 miles. Here in Ar Antarctica, uh, we kind of got to drive a little ways to go to the gym every day. So it's got 1,400 miles now. I love it. It will probably have 200,000 in a month because I love driving this truck. It's insane. Back three freaking power stuff. I'm going to steal them real quick. You're going to take them? Yeah. Over my dead body. <laughs> if we look underneath, it's a actual 3500. It's not duly converted. So it has airbags in the rear on top of the, or next to the leaf spring. Freaking sick. Color match tail lights color match bumper it's like the perfect base to build a super duper nice truck and i already broke it literally already am having issues first day i got to sit in it for some reason the headlights just decided to not work oh they work what <laughs> oh it's flashing that it, one's tweaking yeah it, it doesn't want to work i guess whoever paint matched them you know didn't yeah, do whoever, a good job whoever, sealing whoever did the paint match on this whole truck they did a great job it looks like like everything's really nice i was really excited about these headlights they didn't seal them right because there's definitely water getting inside there and those factory headlights are tweaking the out. I'm, I'm not gonna cry because these are not my definitely not my favorite headlights to ever be in a truck i love factory fifth gen headlights color match like but we had to take them out and uh 
upgrade a little bit. I had Danny from Alpharex overnight us some headlights so then we could finish this video. Shout out to Danny at Alpharex. The leading headlight creator. If you need headlights for your truck or van or Mustang, basically 90% of vehicles on the road. They, they make some for airplanes too. You didn't make, know that. They make airplane headlights? Yeah. You didn't see that? Tank headlights. Lamborghini headlights. Could you imagine? That'd Alpharex be sick. headlights like... <laughs> it was a cheap truck, okay? Sorry, I'd be buying beaters. How many miles is that? I think like 600,000 miles. Somewhere around there. 650,000 miles. 1973 Ram 3500. So why would I expect the headlights to work? They package them good. One of them flew on the highway and it did not break. They package these headlights so good. We were driving to take Cowboy to paint all the way in Wisconsin. And the headlight literally flew out of the bed on the highway. Barrel rolled 73 times on the highway. Got hit by three semi trucks. We got out. The headlight was perfectly fine. It is currently in Cowboy and it works flawlessly. So Alpha X, they, their packaging guy needs a raise. Wow. Wow, these don't have water inside them. That's so nice. Hot with the old. And with the new. So, I like the Alpha X's more. You kind of like the Alpha X's No, no, more? I like them. Really love the Alpha X's more? Yeah. This is the best thing that Even could ever happen to this truck. If they made them where they could turn with the steering wheel, that, would, that be cool. would be sick. That is like the only thing that I like about the factory headlights is when you turn the steering Can you see it from like the end? Oh, you can't. Put it in drive. No, I don't know how that works. Maybe the other one's doing it? Turn it? <laughs> no. You cannot see the headlights turn at all. I swear to God. They, they turn. When you turn the fucking steering wheel. I'm not lying. I've seen it. We're sitting in the drive for an hour when doing I that. When I first got the truck, I literally put the headlight on the wall of the freaking garage and I sat there turning it back and forth and back. You could clearly see the headlights moving. That's besides the point. Doesn't even really matter because they're coming out right now anyway. We're going to get these headlights taken out, put the off rexes in them. I'm not going to bore you with the 17. We should do a montage. Time lapse. Cue the time lapse. We're not doing a time lapse. I'll <laughs> see my least favorite thing about these new trucks. How many clips are that? 375 million clips. Just to take this freaking bezel piece off. Literally can't even tell there's a motor in there. Like there's so much stuff blocking it. On a second gen, you pop the hood and you literally can see every bolt on the entire motor. Hey, hey change the air filter for me real quick. Yeah, what if you don't want to run that, that whole system? <laughs> Air don't even get through there. Air don't get through there? Look at it. It's, it's not real. It's fake. So what's that for? I'm confused. Wait. What I'm doing? Yeah, you can't look. Air doesn't go through there? What? We've been lied to That's our a whole scam. life. That is a scam. The hood looks cool. Apparently, it doesn't add horsepower. I ordered one. For my you ordered one? Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Well, yours is functional and not yes. factory. That one's probably factory because Dodge sucks. 17 million hours later, we got one of the 17 grill pieces off. All the grill pieces off. Headlights have to pop off. Those are pretty easy. Alpharex is really nice and makes just plug and play. So place those where those headlights go. Plug them right into the factory harnesses. Ain't got to do no cutting, crimping, splicing, any any of that. They just plug right in. And then we'll have very nice looking fifth wow. job. Wow. So beautiful. I think you could do five 4Gs in the time that it takes to do one 5G. There's so much that has to come off. It's not even funny. Boop, boop. Does it work? Yes. First time? No issues? No one's surprised? They work every time. Why would you not buy Alpharex headlights? You're just gonna get your stock ones taken apart and color match, and they're gonna look good for like the first, I don't know, 200 miles, and they're gonna leak because whoever you took them to doesn't know how to seal headlights. And then you'll have to buy Alpharexes anyway, so you might as well just start out with those. All right, go ahead. <laughs> that is a crazy difference. I thought yeah, those looked really, really good but those look insane. I changed my mind. Yeah, stock headlights, they ain't it compared to Alpharex, not even close. That's like Gucci, and then that's Louis Vuitton. Both are pretty nice, but do you really want to be like everybody else? What do you say? Shut the hood softly? Yeah. It looks open? amazing. Like actually? God. Yeah, damn. If you have a 5G and you don't have Alpharex headlights on, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> don't get much better than that, honestly. The only thing that would make it better. No, I got nothing. No, it's, it's fucking tits. I'm gonna go to the uh, bread. We need bread. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to the store. Uh, you clean up all that. Yep. Oh, that mess right there. Yeah. yeah, you clean up all that real quick. Um, I'm gonna go. I, it should only take me like seven hours. Hey, move these headlights too. Hey, would you want me to put them? Just move them anywhere. Okay. Um. I think some headlights. You said move them anywhere. Move the truck somewhere? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God! Brian! I told you to move the headlights. Bro, oh, these are literally useless now. I mean, you don't have new headlights, so it's a pretty good trade-off. Brian, uh, just give me some space. <laughs> oh, that's how they turn. Wow. There's like a swivel thing on the top.
Hey, uh, go in the garage and grab the uh, thousand little containers that we have. We're gonna put these all in little containers and I'm gonna sell them $400 a piece. Actually, you know what? <laughs> put the whole truck in a shredder. This one honestly is pretty good stuff. I think she's gone. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Have you heard of this dude? His name's like Art. Art? Art is slow on Instagram. I don't think so. He's got like a freaking 2000 horsepower GTR. He's got an Aventador. He's got this. Is that a SpongeBob rap? He's got a SpongeBob oh, rap on oh. a freaking Piper. When I was little, I used to be scared of SpongeBob. That thing is not scary. Well, he says he's in Columbus, Ohio. Wait, we're in Columbus, Ohio. Wait, I mean, we're rolling through Columbus, going wherever the hell we were just going. We have the GTR in the trailer. We should just swing by. You tell me I slept for 27 hours just to get to Columbus, Ohio to race up an ugly looking Viper. With the SpongeBob rep, yeah. Well, the, the Viper looks kind of slow. Oh, he's got two GTRs. He's got this gray one and he keeps calling out Dan Rue, so it must be fast. I mean, it's got the drag wing and everything. And let me call him real quick. Hey, hello? Hey, is this Art? Art is slow on Instagram? Oh, my bad. Art is fast on Instagram? Yeah, hey, we're, we're about eight minutes away. You wanna, like, get some runs in tonight? Yeah, I got the GTR. No, 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 no. It's just on, like, 93. It's, it's slow as fuck. It probably makes, like, 800 horsepower. Okay, yeah. I'll meet you at your dealership. All right, see you, bye. Really nice guy. He owns a dealership? He owns a dealership. Or somebody owns. Maybe his dad probably owns a dealership. Maybe it's not daddy's money. Maybe he is my dad. Did we just find my dad? When it's my turn. I'm not even cold. This is nice. This is some good boost weather, though. Boost weather, sure. yeah. What up, homie? What's up, bro? Good, man. I'm Quinn. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is Brian. Where's, uh, where's Mr. Art at? <sighs> Your art until always, he gets here? All right, so this always is fake here. art. He's uh, the owner of all the fake cars. And y'all own this dealership, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. It's a yeah. lot bigger than what I thought. I was low-key expecting like a little one, like 10 cars in it. There's a lot of freaking cars. <laughs> yeah, 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 hey, Ferraris? You guys got a... Got an Aventador. You have an Aventador. It's not his either. It's uh. Oh, there's two Aventadors. Yeah, yeah. There's a black. Oh shit. Black. That's our cars and bids right now. So. All right, all right, all right. We brought you a little like a little baby slow car. Nothing really too crazy. I don't know why they put beadlocks on it. It's literally just full bolt on. Yeah, like a G35. Yeah, it's a G35 actually. It's got this nice blue wrap that adds a little bit of horsepower. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know why they put a parachute on it, honestly. Like, that's just for show. The parachute don't work. And the, the wing is for downforce, but I've only taken it to the mountains one time. I don't know why it sounds like that. It's literally stock. I think the exhaust fell off the other day when I was you driving. You cut it off, that's what it was. Hey, I cut it off? There's not even headers on it. Those headlights, god damn! Yeah, they just got here. This motherfucker is beautiful. I had to turn my car off so we could hear his car. Yeah, I love that front end. That fucking car is oh beautiful. Oh my god. Literal GTR is the same exact build as my Lambo. Oh, same exact same color and forged carbon right? and everything. So if I win, I take your car. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a 17 swap. 17. Oh, it's a swap? Yeah, so uh, it's a 14. No shit. Yeah, and, mine's, uh, I think mine's a 12. This is a beautiful car. Yeah, I think you sold me. I'm definitely ordering this on the way home. All of the forged carbon. And I like them wheels too. We have good taste. We both have very nice taste. I, I like the purple. Work, course, it fits it, That's baller. Look at the wing. Yeah, we need that. Wing. We need the wing. That wing at least adds 20,000 horsepower yeah, I'm right there. To I'm gonna copy your whole car. It'll be the blue version of this car. That's gonna tell like two. They're baller. So mine is full interior, heat and AC, everything still works. Uh, you have heat and AC? Heat and AC, yeah. Yes, but not full interior. Not heated seats. Yeah. <laughs> not heated seats. No, your seats are heat, so they're, they're not heated. They're yeah, definitely fire as fuck, though. So the, much forged carbon. carbon. The, the GoPro on. on. <laughs> Oh, are they comfortable? It feels like a race car. We need those. I don't know. Which how with how much this car throws you around, yeah. I, I don't think I'd like these. We need another GTR. Facts. You put one and make it super uncomfortable but stupid fast, and then the daily GTR. Hey, he does need the, the forged carbon intakes. Though. Yeah, you gotta see the intakes on mine. That's a beautiful ass engine. I like the welding on that. Those right, pipes look, are look insane. Look at the color. Damn, I'm colorblind, Brian. I don't I know. Forgot. Why <laughs> so no, it's uh, there was a guy in PA. He uh, he uh, he had a lot of GTRs. Cause this car came out of nowhere i i was looking when i bought mine and i never saw this car he spent like 50 g's in the carbon i and believe the paint. it i believe it yeah carbon and paint 50 yeah. g's man i'm about to spend it on mine now yeah. there's a lot of cars on the road that are either uh show looking nice and clean but they're, but slow. they're slow yeah or they will be really fast but they're rough. i didn't get a chance to run the hard or anything yet man. no not at all 
Yeah, good time it's to nice start. Nice time. <laughs> I guess we can show you my piece of garbage. I feel bad showing you it's this dusty. now. It's dusty. Yeah, I got it. I drove it down my gravel driveway to get into the trailer. There's no exa It literally fell off, bro. Did you hear it when you were rolling in? No, I didn't hear it. Like a what is it chop tune? I did no, it. it's just normal. That's how it idles at all times. What that's, the fuck? That's fucking it sounds like it's freaking four thousand horsepower. It should be on the <laughs> left side. Yeah, it's, it's literally just full bolt on. We got a flex fuel tune on it, so you run 85. That's about it. Almost as pretty as yours. It that's does have carbon underneath man. the hood. You got the purple, I got the blue. Oh, yeah. those are uh, uh blow off holes, right? Yeah, it's got little dresses on them. Makes them look yeah, all pretty. Nice. Make them dance. Yeah, it's a girl. She's it's, she likes to be pretty. Oh, yeah, it's like when a girl gets her nails done, that's that's what that is. Don't have those uh uh hood hooks or whatever they call it. Well, it's, it's so yeah. slow that it blows the hood off. So you <laughs> you need the hood pins. God, I I don't even want to look at this front end right now. I know. That front end that is, is so hell and Nasty. I was talking about it because my freaking side marker fell out the other day. I was drifting it up my freaking driveway and the <laughs> goddamn so side marker hit a tree. Debatably, this is more fun to drive than any car I've ever driven. This is the first GTR, but I would take this over the Huracan. I take. I haven't drove the Aventador yet. It might change my mind. But you see, Aventador is really slow, man. <laughs> if you take a uh, Mazda Miata, right, the one that I raced, uh -huh. he's only two thousand pounds, four hundred fifty horsepower, and it beat your car. Yeah. Yeah, Miata, fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. Smoking, bro. <laughs> but he's a half the size. Uh, yeah, the math is mathing, but it's like a half a million dollar car. It sounds yeah. good though, so the sound yeah, makes it up. Matters. When you have Whoa. that sitting in your driveway, yeah, you don't give a. F yeah, I always wanted to have one that looks good, uh -huh. sounds good. So yeah. this one actually looks good and sounds good and fast, nice. uh, but not as as uh, Ventador, you know. Yeah, Ventador is like your Batman. Yeah, you're, you're you the pull shit. up anywhere on the Ventador, man. It's just a it's a status. Like people like what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Even though like this GTR have more money in it than the actual Aventador, the guy it's just a GTR. Yeah, so much money. Not just from the beginning. Nobody because... knows what these cars are though. They see a Nissan badge and they're like, oh, it's cheap yeah mine i've had good luck with mine so we'll see man t1 is building crazy car i never i don't even see i rarely see t1 gtrs for sale like, yeah i don't see them at all because they i love mine so much i've got offers way over what i paid for it already really? I, i'm not <laughs> selling it so keep your money I would say uh, good afternoon, but we're not having too good of an afternoon. He, he's got his freaking GTR here and it scared my GTR so bad <laughs> that it decided to just you know, oh, pop bro, a tire. <laughs> What are we supposed to do now? I, I really don't know. You left the slicks at home, bro. That's the worst part. We literally have- I don't know, we have another set. Home. Basically what happened, we went out to dinner. It was super nice. We had uh, some nice pizza and stuff. Come back outside and uh, my car looks like that. It's right on here too. We, we found it? it. It's a nail or something right in here. Thank God it didn't go like this on the highway. Yeah, why are you going fast? It's like the most unfortunate thing that could have happened. Hey, maybe- You haven't hung around us. If you stick around us for a little bit, you start to realize that these are just normal occurrences. Then that would have happened. We call them side quests. Yeah. Every single time we do anything, <laughs> Thing, something goes wrong. It's got a little lean on it. It's an air ride car. See, it's just flexed out right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. That is two of the most obnoxiously wrapped vehicles on planet Earth. Honestly, no, those are mild, bro. Those are the most low key daily drivers ever. Okay. One, we're not gonna freak out because it's not my dream car or anything. I would never want a Lamborghini Aventador. How many times do you think I talk about a Lamborghini Aventador per day? 700, most likely. Mr. Art, uh, Art is slow on Instagram. Two GTRs, he's got an Aventador and he's got a beautiful twin turbo Viper, SpongeBob. I don't know why, he just got bored. Literally me. That's me, right there. It makes like 1500 horsepower, just casually. That's probably the fastest SpongeBob's ever gone. And then that mother which is actually his slowest car. I'm not quite convinced that he's not capping, but this thing gets dogged by like me, like a stock Miata for some reason, but it sounds cool. It's got a V12. Look at the suspension up inside. You literally see the coils. It's crazy. They got like cantilever or something. I actually stole the design of an Aventador for Megan. While you're sleeping, we're out here doing work. You're doing a bunch of this and we're doing a bunch of this. I don't, I don't know. See, I could never get this because then he would never get any work done. He'd be looking at himself. Yeah, I'd be like go, this. Damn, bro, that's crazy. Wait, come right here. <laughs> Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> Talking about the go sleep wipes to play, let's talk about the small P. I don't know what the P stands for. And then it's got two SpongeBob's with no eyes and the tail lights of the eyes. Oh, it's supposed to be the sunglasses. Remember the episode where you put the sunglasses on? It's got Gintani on it. You do? Yeah, yeah I, I can not ask that. I've had uh, Rift on it before. Too loud, but not as high pitch as Gintani. Gintani, Gintani is, is like 
so much. How much does that mean, exhaust cost? It's like 18 grand. Jesus Christ. It's, yeah. it's fast as fuck, but if you compare it to GTR, not it's bad. slow as fuck. Not bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you're about to mess me up, honestly. I've literally never driven one. I only sat in CJ on 32s. I sat inside of it, he took me for a ride. I've never driven one. Lowering springs, I got those wheels, Velos wheels. Hey, let's look really nice. And nasty as hell. So I got exhaust and chrome wrap. Man, I got tired of this chrome wrap a little bit. Really? But now he drove it, and I never seen anybody driving it before. Yeah, now you love it. <laughs> now I freaking appreciate it. You can see this thing from a mile away. It's, yeah. it's kind of, it's so good. There's people on the moon right now being like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Oh my Sheesh. God. <laughs> and he's got the red interior. Yeah, bro. It's cold okay, start. I'll show him the back window. The, the RA and the GTR. I got enough cars, man. <laughs> Get me a Supra. That's another car I need. Supra? The new one or the old, old one? one? Old one, yeah. <laughs> I 
I've always been like, I've always thought that like I needed an SVJ. The S is good enough for now, honestly. Like if I would start with an S and then one day I'm able to sell it and then go buy an SVJ, perfectly fine. But I need to get in one of these cars very, very quickly. Need a roadster, because I like this back window being able to be open because it feels like, I don't know, it's just way louder. Everybody's like, you won't like, you won't like a, an Aventador. They throw you around too much. Like it's, it's like not comfortable to drive. I would drive this thing to freaking California right now. <laughs> Well, you broke me. You, you definitely broke me. <laughs> you know, we have a serious issue that needs to be only solved by Bye. me having one of these, 100%. Thank you guys, because this <laughs> no, is like course. insane. Fans are in the back. Yeah. Sometimes they uh, get uh, rocks stuck in them. Gotcha. And fans stop uh, running. What, what, what do you have to wash? The oil temp or the coolant temp? Because everything's data temp, like 90, yeah, 90 Celsius good. or whatever. Never happened. I'm just saying like oh, in yeah. general, because I mean, you run it really hard. Yeah. You're kind of driving a house. I would, I'd be careful. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep it's, now it's until one's experience. in my garage. There's a lot of people hating it on the uh, online. They just don't understand. It doesn't have to be as fast as GTR to uh, have a pleasure. Like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna send you everything in my driveway, and you can just take your pick. And I probably will not say no because I want this car <laughs> very bad. Like, all jokes aside, I need this car. Like, actually, it's kind <laughs> of insane. It does. I don't know why I haven't bought one yet. Have Fuck you ever right. drove an Aventador? No. That's why. Yeah. Now he's in love, bro. Now yeah. You love. said you like the truck, right? Yeah, you can keep that much. <laughs> I think I need a black one. What color is this underneath? Uh, It's matte silver. Matte yeah, silver? Uh, the color. Yeah, I feel like I either need an obnoxiously wrapped one like this or a black one. I need 12, yeah. I need at least seven, one for every day ten of the week. out of 10 Aventadors. <laughs> We got brand new tires on it, thanks to uh, a whole bunch of people. We ate food, drove an Aventador, and now it's time to uh, go racing. Test pass and in map three. Just now, right here. Just now. Pass? Just now, yeah. Well, I guess we don't need to torque down the wheels. Anymore. Yeah. Nobody will ever Come find on. Out. Did, did you I even two step it? No, I didn't. No, he just he just took off and it fucking pulled. It pulled hard as fuck. Yeah. Hey, we can 
It's not leaking anything, but I can I can definitely smell it. This car has literally been broken all day. Like we fixed the tire, and now is it you? I think it's him. <laughs> all right. The Are car you breaking is, our car? You're, you're, you're scaring the car so much that it's like, why if I break it, I don't have to race them. All right, straight to Aventador right now. Jesus Christ! Stop. <laughs> Call homie to bring my R8. Jesus Christ! And I like, can have some. God, now he's gonna buy the R8. All uh, right. You, you coming out? Where are you guys at? Uh, we're, we're at AutoZone right now because I blew up the trans we're, in my GTR. We're 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 close to uh, Auto Palace. Yeah, so if you could bring me my car, that'd be nice. All right, thank you. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> You got your little hole somewhere, buddy. It's blood. I think you're cooked, bro. Take a yeah. taste it's it. All right. I bet you there's. <laughs> <laughs> Is it transfer? Oh yeah, it's definitely transfer. Oh, you gave my money back? Well, I mean, I'd need it now because I gotta buy a new tran. I'll buy a new tran, and then we'll come back. I mean, you just give it to me now. I'll hold, I'll hold it. it for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna it. spend it. You won't spend of it. Of course, I'll spend it. <laughs> we did a handshake. That's basically legally bonding. I called I my. I wish I could like uh, honestly win it the right way. Yeah. But again, you fix it, you probably make it even more. No, fast no, no, no. Shit. We won't put bigger turbos on it right now. No. no. <laughs> the next time we race is gonna be another 40 Gs on on the. Uh, okay, on top. On the line. So 80. Yeah. Yeah. Or 100. <laughs> but no, just round up. We'll do 100. Whatever you want. It's like 200k pot. That's got to be like one of the biggest yeah, pots on YouTube history. Uh, make money with uh, GTR. So you break the oh, other trends. <laughs> I, I just break mine, so I have no bro, idea. Someone's shit broke on his car, bro. This is just a normal day. Do you have a clapped out GTR? Apparently. <laughs> it only has like 20,000 miles. I've, I've driven it three times. Well, my dad drove it twice, too, so I don't know. At least I didn't break it, you know. This is true. If you would have broke it, you would have <laughs> been working for me for yeah, ever. For yeah. Man, you said, oh, I'm running it on map 9 all the time. That's why it's like a kill mode. You don't want to drive it yeah. all the time yeah. on map you right. kill everyone in sight, but you also kill the car. I think it evens out. It does, yeah. I was smiling. I'm still smiling, actually. And now the trans is not smiling. It threw a like four wheel drive code. The transfer case. It could be the transfer case and not the trans. Because it's very weird that it's shifting still. Like if it was completely annihilated, one, it wouldn't be moving. It moved. It's probably a transfer case. That would I make hope sense. so. That'd be really nice instead yeah. of having to buy it. I mean, I don't think we have to buy a brand new trans. Yeah. I think we either have to rebuild this one or it's something stupid like a T case or something related with the drive shaft. I guess we'll know when we take it to Exotic Autos for it and they freaking tear it apart and send me a bill. It's either going to be 10K or 100K. One of the two. Let's hope for the first one. Sheesh. See ya, bye. Bye, Blue Devil. And hello. What the f is that thing? <laughs>